What does it mean to be a slam poet? Uh, I guess the same thing it means to be a poet. It's just that you're uh, a little louder. Poets, poets kind of tell the unvarnished truth. Sometimes, you know, slam poets are looked down upon and sometimes slam poets are, are, uh, are celebrated just like people from New Mexico. <laughs> you know, it's like if you're from New Mexico and some people think that's really cool and then some people think it's you're out in the boonies. And it's the same thing with being a slam poet. Sometimes people are like, oh, that's really cool. And then other people are like, oh, so well, you're really not a poet then. So it's kind of like that. Being New Mexican and being slam, a slam poet are actually very, are very similar existences. <laughs> you don't know me, but you think you do. You see the nine letters of my family name, Rodriguez, and think you have a complete picture, but it is fractured, misleading, a jigsaw puzzle with pieces missing that even I may never find. You think you know me because of the tone of my hair, the color of my skin, the sound of my voice, but you don't know. You don't know that I'm the Tennessee Volunteer racing down Grand Avenue in my 59 Chevy, the sunbaked, freckle-faced mountain of a man some call gringo, Gavacho, owner of the junkyard at the end of town, father of seven half-breed children living on 11th Street. I am also their mother, the Norteña Mexicana, a generation from the fields working in a factory in California. I am dark skin, fierce eyebrows, and a fiercer temper. I will love you hard with the belts across your behind or vinegar-soaked potatoes laid across your forehead when you fall ill. I am more still. I am El Alcalde, the town mayor. I am also El Borracho, the town drunk. I am more still. I am Spanish arrogance, claiming impossibly untainted blood in the glaring reality that is Nuevo Mexico. I am oppressor and oppressed, the every likelihood of being encased in my contradictory flesh, hating hand of the conquistadors, conquerors of this land, the equally hating hand of the Pueblo Indian rebel trying in vain to reclaim the land. I am also the land of the potter, black as obsidian. I am also her clay. The son of Nahuat, Azteca I am, I am, the precise calculation of time in my Mayan mind. I hear the song of Algeria, of Africa in my Moorish ears. I am pusts, I am pusts, I am pusts. Rhythm. I am rhythm, I am drums, timbales, congas, bongos, strike me with your hand, I sing tones your ears cannot hear, strike me with a stick, my voice explodes horizontally, I am electric guitar wailing like Yorona's child this cries, I am the desert, the mountains and the contradiction is clear as New Mexico sky. Tattooed to my existence and shackled to my ankles. Watch me hammer at the steel to make wings. Watch me melt it to make blood. I take quartz from the ground, water from the river, smoke from the sky, and call myself American. I take the shame of Oñate, Navajo clay, and the feathers of Quetzalcoatl, and call myself Chicano. I take the pain from a bomb blast, the laughter from a playground, the blood of all our ancestors, and call myself human. I am you. You are me. We see with taintless eyes when we realize what we can be and show the generations the forever beyond their own skin color. You don't know me, but you think you do. You don't know me, but you do. You are me, and I am you. You are me, and I am you. You are, and I am. Okay.